Hi guys, Yahya here from TabletopMinis.com and today I'm just going to be doing a painting tutorial on skin. Now I always go for a warm kind of skin tone for my miniatures unless I'm doing something like undead or some vampires where I'd go for a, like a paler, whiter kind of skin. So today we're going to be ne needing four paints. First of all, rat skin flesh. Second of all, Reichlin flesh shade. Thirdly, beast of gore flesh. And finally, Ungor Flesh. So we're going to start here by using Rat Skin Flesh. And with a medium sized brush, we're going to just grab a dollop and water it down a little bit. It's like the consistency of milk here. Now we're just going to paint all the areas that are skin. And you want to be careful not to um, sin it, you paint down too much or you're going to have to do many layers before you get a solid colour. Just work it in to and avoid, try and avoid all the details that I've already painted like the teeth. I'm just doing the larger areas here with a medium sized brush. <coughs> You'll notice I, uh, I left a bit of a gap between the skin and the detail here in the white line. I'm going to uh, use a smaller brush to get in that so I don't um, paint over the details that I've already completed. into all the little cracks. I'll just continue like that 
and then I'll get back to you once that's done. Okay, so I've just finished giving it a base coat of rat skin flesh. I required two layers to do that. And so the next step we're going to go on to is Reichlin flesh shade. So we're going to give it a nice wash of that. Always give your washes a good shake before you open them up. And now we're just going to grab a big dollop. Not too big. A generous amount. And then we're going to just apply it liberally here. Roll the muscles pretty much over all the skin areas. You want it to pool in the recesses, so if you get too much on the flat surfaces, just drag it off with your brush and uh, pull it into the recesses. So I'll just carry on like that. See, I've pulled it a little bit too much in here, so I'll just try and drag that out like that to some of the areas that I haven't actually washed yet. So I'll just finish the rest of the model like this and then we'll get on to step three. Okay, so now the shading's pretty much dry. Made a nice shading effect in all the recesses. We're gonna go on to the third step, which is gonna be giving uh, the raised areas a uh, highlight of Bistagor flesh. I'm just gonna grab some out of the pot, like with the rat skin. And with this one, you want to water it down quite a bit more, so it's almost like a glaze. We want it, don't want it to be a glaze, just almost a glaze. Yeah, something like that. And now I'm just going to pick out all the raised edges top of the eyebrow here, bits like the nose, top of the nose, just areas like this. It takes a bit of practice but you get used to it and you kind of know where to put the paint eventually. Like the top of the ear here, anything that sticks out you really want to just pick off. quite featured this face so it's quite quite good practice for this kind of thing okay I'm just going to continue picking out the raised areas like that and I'll get back to you for step four and there we have all the raised areas highlighted with uh, Bistagor flesh For the final highlight, we're going to be using Ungor Flesh. So 
now we're going to take some ungar flesh and we want it the same consistency as bestigar flesh, very watery. Like that, that looks good. Now with this we want to be painting the highest of the raised areas on the skin just so it makes all the detail pop. So, so stuff like the tips of the ears and like the tip of the nose and like the cheeks if they're very pronounced basically all the very high, high, highly raised areas. Makes the skin stand out a lot more. Like on the hands here, on the knuckles. See, it really makes it stand out. So I'll continue on like that and I'll show you the final result. Okay, so that's Morgan Sorg's skin, fully painted there. I've gone for more of a warm kind of skin tone here. There's so many different ways of painting it. But yeah, it's came out really nice, I think. It's quite easy and uh, simple to paint skin like this as well. Give you a good look there. So yeah guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe and uh, comment below and I'll see you guys next time.